Hey, what's up you guys? I'm going live again. I was trying to do this on my stories, but it's taking too long. So just want to share an insight on um, the mental piece of fat loss that I think, not not think, I know people forget because I see this over and over. And it's actually really appropriate. I got my mind over matter shirt on here. Um, also have my higher necklace. You can't see it, but I know it's there. That's my higher symbol right there. Um, okay. So Fat loss. This is what I see. Like, like, let's say that you need to lose body fat and you're currently eating like 3000 calories a day and you're probably like, no, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> if you're like pretty overweight, like there are days and it, the reason I see people don't realize how many calories they're eating is because they eat very little calories from real food and they eat a lot of calories from snacks. That uh, was a wake up call for me. I thought, I was like, dude, there's no way. I like hardly eat anything. It's like, mm, you ate like 1500 calories worth of snacks today <laughs> and like 1200 calories worth of real food. So anyway, um, calories. So you're, you're trying to lose body fat. You have to drop your calories. And I don't care what anybody says. Calories out does freaking matter. Calories in, calories out matters. Uh, especially when you are like really cutting into your body fat. Okay. Now, do the types of calories matter? Yes. Will you create an entire different like shape and physique depending on which type of calories you eat? Yes. Will your mental health and your energy levels and your gym performance and all of that get better if you're eating higher quality, nutrient dense, real foods? Yes. All right. That matters. But the amount of calories you eat still matters. I could eat 3000 calories a day of paleo food that's all high quality food and I would still gain body fat because more calories my body needs this is like super super basic like obvious you don't need to be a health professional to know that <laughs> right like if you're eating more food than your body needs it's gonna have to put it somewhere <laughs> and that's gonna be body fat okay that's not my tip though what I want to talk about is what happens when we start to drop that this there's this little piece that I see that people miss and it's this, it's, it's this assumption that the discomfort you're feeling on your path to new you is how uncomfortable it's always going to be. Does that make sense? It's, it's not. Once you adjust, once you lose the body fat and your body only needs that much food, it's going to feel easy to stay there. So here's an example. You're eating 3000 calories a day because you only eat like 1800 calories a day of real food and the rest all come from whatever little something you're walking by at somebody's desk and the, all these little things, they add up so fast. A couple of cookies, boom, 600 calories later, right? So, so what I see is that you know, now you're dropped from like, let's say 3000 calories. You're on this like kick and you're going to 1500 calories and you're getting so freaking uncomfortable. Yes. Somebody coach. Yep. Getting comfortable, feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second, but you're, you're like, Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't do this. It's too hard to be healthy. I give up. It's too hard. It's too loose. Mm, it's only going to be that uncomfortable temporarily while you get there. And yeah, it's going to suck sometimes. Anybody who's telling you it's not ever going to suck losing body fat is lying to you. It's going to suck sometimes, right? But once you get to the place where you're going, now let's talk about like food, amount of calories. Once you get to the place where your body now only like you've lost the body fat and you're eating 1500 calories, that's all your body needs. It's going to feel easy. It's going to feel like your new normal. That like eating 3000 calories a day, you'd be like, dude, there's no freaking way I want that much food. Okay. So like that discomfort you're feeling on the way to the new you is temporary. And now getting this, get uh, being comfortable, feeling uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I was really freaking uncomfortable yesterday. Guess what? Sometimes you're going to get all dramatic and you're like, I'm going to freaking die. I can't do this. And guess what? It passes. Anybody who has fasted for like 24 hours knows that that feeling of discomfort of hunger will pass. So when you're getting used to eating a new lower amount of calories, you're going to feel uncomfortable. There are going to be moments where it's really uncomfortable. There's going to be like the kind of uncomfortable moments. And then there's going to be like the freaking, hey, oh, I'm tired and I feel whacked out and out of it. And yep. Mm -hmm. And me right now, I'm in a calorie deficit and I'm already like not feeling like super duper energetic. Of course I'm okay, but I'm not like, yeah, pedal to the metal. I got to go in there and I got to go kill it in the gym. 
Okay. So it's like, just keep pushing into that, keep pushing into that discomfort. But eventually that becomes your new normal and it's not so comfortable, uncomfortable anymore. And the, the last aspect I'll share about the, like being uncomfortable. So many of us are comfortable being uncomfortable in the gym, right? Guess what? If you're getting uncomfortable in ways you always get uncomfortable, that's not really uncomfortable. <laughs> Does that make sense? Being uncomfortable, you can you can be in a comfort zone of uncomfortable, right? <laughs> like, oh, I push myself on my weights every single day to pretty much the same level. That's not uncomfortable. You already been doing that, right? So, um, like digging into that next level um, with food is like. Uh, the similar feeling of being uncomfortable in your workout, right? So if like you really want to lose body fat, like those moments, those two hours on, you know, for me yesterday, Sunday, I had all my kids. I'm like running around. I was like so freaking hungry yesterday. I was so hungry. And it was like, this is like my workout. This, it passed after a couple, an hour or two of that, it, it passed and I was fine. But man, it was like an hour or two of like a really uncomfortable workout. It was like a long run. It was like, this freaking sucks. And I'm just going to sit through it and get used to it, right? So think of it that way. Sometimes that discomfort of not eating when you want to eat, when you're intentionally losing body fat, look at it like a workout. Like, this is my workout right now. I'm on a long run. <laughs> um, I've got a comment here. The reminder that the feeling uh, is temporary, is clutch. Yeah, currently shifting diet and challenge is real. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, there is, I don't think there's anything more difficult than changing your food, <laughs> than changing your, your eating and like literally being able to eat food because it's all around you and just choosing not to. But that's why you have to have a very specific goal that you're driving towards. And it's like, does that bring me towards my goal or away from my goal? And then it becomes less appealing because you're like, that is literally pulling me directly away from my goal. Um, create a vision board. Pick somebody, pick some Instagram influencer, somebody you want to look like, put that thing on your phone, put it in the notes on your phone or ever. I've got one in Evernote. I, I, I'll, I'll be real. I've got a picture of Paige Hathaway when she was like at her peak that it's like on my Evernote and I'm like, yep. And when I'm starting to feel like I don't want to do it, I just pull up that picture and I'm like, mm. it just helps to get you right back into where you're going. And you look at those options and you're like, does that bring me towards my goal or away from my goal? And it gets easier, but it still sucks. It's still uncomfortable right? But remember my whole point of this whole message is pretty soon. Once you get over the hump, it won't be as uncomfortable anymore. It will be easy. It will be your new normal. This is the other thing with, um, when I talk, when people talk about their metabolism slowing down, I'm like, if you are a 130 pound person now, and you used to be a 170 pound person, it's not that necessarily that your metabolism slowed down, like you damaged yourself from dieting. You're like, nah, yes, can we get that in extreme cases? Yes. But like in the general public, I feel like this, this fear has gone way too, like it's gotten astronomical for no reason. As a 130 pound person, you are going to require less food, less calories than a 170 pound person. So did your metabolism slow down? I don't like to look at it that it's just your caloric need dropped because you don't weigh as much. Just like my son who is like 75 pounds doesn't need as much food and calories as me, <laughs> right? So remember that, like there's so much fear. I see like women who are 50 pounds, uh, they have like 50 pounds of body fat they need to lose and they're like, I'm afraid I'm not eating enough and stuff. And I'm like, well, if you're not tapping into any any of your body fat and you're like gaining body fat and we're not, I'm not talking about extreme hormone issues, right? I'm not talking, I'm just talking about normal people. It's like, then you're not eating too much. You're, I mean, you're not eating too little. You must be eating too much, right? It's, it's kind of basic. Okay. So don't get in this fear of like, I'm, I'm worried, like make sure your food is high quality. And the biggest thing, if you think you're not eating too much is I really encourage you. I mean, if you think you're not eating enough, and you're not losing body fat, I encourage you to look at snacks. <laughs> Cause most of us want to be like five year olds and we would like to eat things that are high in carbohydrates and fat and that don't fill us up very much, but taste like goody goody gumdrops in our mouth. And when it comes to eating like a freaking chicken breast salad and proteins and things that are filling for fewer calories, 
well, we don't want to eat that because that's not as goody goody gumdrops, <laughs> but that's where all the nutrients come from, right? So this is why you, you see, you'll see me post very often. I say it's about nutrient dense, not calorie dense, right? Nutrients. How many nutrients are in that food? And most nutrient dense foods are not that calorie dense. So keep that in mind. Okay. So again, remember, if you're on a fat loss journey, it's not always going to be as hard as it is while you're in the discomfort of change. It's just like if you're trying to grow your business or get good at anything else <laughs> while you're changing, it's really freaking uncomfortable. You're going to have to do things you don't want to do and not do things you do want to do. But soon, if you can get past that hump, it will become like your new normal and it will become easy. So don't forget that. Don't think that when you go to lose body fat, that it's always going to be that hard. It's not. Okay. All right. That's all. I'm going to go get my workout on. Have a good day, guys. Bye.